the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago in this matter and similar matters and police work on a day-to-day -day basis is not a matter for the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley maintains the government's distance from any involvement regarding the circumstances of the detainment of known arms dealer Brent Thomas in Barbados, his removal from the country in 2022, and the subsequent judgment made in his favour against the state in a Trinidad High Court last week. Let the record show that the cabinet of Trinidad and Tobago is not in the habit of directing the police at any person or agency and we the citizens of this country can go to bed comfortably knowing that police work was only directed by police officers in the police service under the police act that is what we live with in Trinidad and Tobago and any person who is making allegations contrary to that I ask you in the media to ask them for the supporting evidence of their position. Noting that he can only speak about what is in the public domain, the Prime Minister said he had serious concerns about the situation and looks forward to a full report following internal investigations by the police service. He maintained that the police can and will answer in the courts for their actions if necessary. Dr. Rowley also revealed that the state is taking steps to appeal the matter as early as tomorrow, Friday, and will request an urgent hearing since this is a matter of public interest. He also revealed that he has not spoken to anyone in Barbados on the issue. I have no doubt that there are those who will believe nothing I say. I can't make anybody believe. What I could do is let you know what the facts are, and there's a place for adjudicating on the facts. And that place is in the independent court system of Trinidad and Tobago. That's where this matter is, that's where it belongs. Recently, there has been comments in the public domain regarding the issue, with questions coming from the opposition on the possible involvement of the Prime Minister and Cabinet into the matter. Speaking directly to the opposition, Dr. Rowley said the facts will always prevail and admonish them to stop trying to undermine the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Media reports indicate that Barbados Attorney General Dale Marshall has also requested a full report on the incident and the role of local police. Ayanna Carter, TTT News.